it almost turned into a sort of a blast to the surface. One of the coolest things about GL is it allows us to get the light needs into the skin. One of the things about skin is that it's porous, so light does go into it. Really tough to calculate that without GL. So you're seeing a lot of the light shine correctly, but it's bouncing clean off of the skin. So as soon as we do it, you're able to see the immediate difference from side by side. The eyes, you can see specifically a lot more texture, a lot more light reflection coming off of the eyes. If you look there, there, not just what in terms of detail on the people, but really the light refraction is making it look so real. Again, still darker, but the image is even massive. And again, feel free if you guys want to touch it, move it around. Let's try to get fractured up. Looking right now, this is fractured super, super fun. So this is physics based. You pick up the controller and press A, a bullet will move through these two or three ice spheres. I think I'm personally a gamer that we are building their game so that the circuit scores handle the background, circuit scores handle the This is going to show our real-time physics engine as soon as I get it. We have a demo on your algebra. We've got this one in particular set up to show What it is is it's showing the real time physics happening time and time again. This is going to break in a, in a different way every single time we do this based on trajectory and speed. Alright, thanks, man. Yep. No worries. I didn't realize that those 192 cores were all just to get it. Yeah, exactly.